Hello everyone, it's TB ASMR back again with another video today. And today we are predicting the World Cup results. So I'm on the EA website. I uh, just chose it to do on EA. But uh, so for Group A, we have Qatar, Ecuador, and Senegal, and the Netherlands. So I think the Netherlands. Um, who I think are the favorite to win this group. I think they're going to come out on top. And surprisingly, I think Qatar are actually going to come second and Senegal third and um, Ecuador fourth. The only reason I think Qatar are going to come second is because Sadio Mane, um, I think, is officially ruled out for the World Cup, uh, which obviously starts tomorrow. And I think... Uh, Senegal obviously are still a really solid team even without him but he's a big part big key um, in their team and especially in their attack obviously they still have like Ismaili Assar um, who's pretty solid but um, I also think Qatar are going to come second and make it out of the group stage because um, it just always seems that the host nation always makes it out of the group stage like at least um, and there are some rumors about Qatari uh, officials trying to bribe Ecuadorian players. Obviously, those are just rumors, but if they are true, then um, I definitely think Qatar or Qatar will make it through. Um, so for Group B, we have England, Iran, USA, and Wales. For Group B, I think England will come first, and I'm hoping that... USA will come second. I could easily see Wales coming second, um, but I'm hoping, as a U.S. fan, I'm hoping that we make it through. Um, and then, so I think Wales will come third, and Iran will come fourth. Uh, for Group C, I think Argentina will easily win, and I think Poland will come second. I could see Mexico coming second, um, but I think Poland are just a little bit better. They obviously have Lewandowski. Um, who makes their team a lot better. Um, and I think so with this, I think Mexico will come third and Saudi Arabia will come fourth. For Group D, I think France will win and I think Denmark will come second with Australia coming third and Tunisia coming fourth. Or, I mean, uh, Tunisia could come third and Australia could come fourth, but it really doesn't matter. Um, I think France and Denmark will easily make it out of this group um, for group e i think spain will win and i think germany will come second with japan coming third and costa rica coming fourth um, i think spain will win uh just because i think they have i think they're better defensively than germany i think their midfield is not exactly better but more well-rounded and I think their attack is better than uh, Germany's. For Group F, I think Croatia will come first, and I think Belgium will come second, um, with Canada coming last and Morocco coming third. I think Croatia will come first. I, I just feel like they have more experience. Even though Belgium has been in the World Cup like all these times, it just seems like Belgium can never, like, it just seems like there's something, like, always up. Like, it just seems like they can never get it to get it just right. Because, I mean, you would think with the, all the talent and the players that Belgium have, you would think that they would have at least gotten to one final, um, like, all this time. Having Lukaku, Hazard, De Bruyne, you would think, uh, like, Dembele, and Courtois, you would think at least one of these times. And now... Um, as opposed to in 2018, they don't even have Bertangen. Um, I can't think of uh, Alderweireld. They don't. They don't have him anymore. They don't have uh, Dembele. Dembele is pretty old now. Um, and then ha even Hazard um, has really uh, regressed during his time at Madrid. Whether that may change for national team I don't, I don't know but um, yeah they just uh, I don't know it just seems like they don't have it in them but I do think 
they will make it out of group stage. For group G, I think Brazil will easily win this group, even though this is probably one of the best groups by far. Uh, none of these teams are bad by any means, but I do think Brazil is obviously easily the best team in this group, so I think they'll come first. And I think Serbia will come second with Cameroon coming third and Switzerland coming last. Or Cameroon. Um, yeah, like I said, this group is really solid. Um, I could really see any of these three teams making it out of this group. Um, all three of them are really solid teams. But like I said, I think Brazil will easily take this. For the last group, Group H, I think Portugal will come out in front with Ghana coming second, Uruguay coming third, and Korea coming fourth. Um, I just think Portugal are better than each team in here. Um, and I do think Ghana will manage to pull it out against Uruguay, although um, I could easily see Uruguay coming second. Um, yeah, so now for the knockout stages. We have up first the Netherlands or Holland versus U.S. and USA. And even though I hope uh, the U.S. could some, somehow find a way to win this, if we even get this far, I think the Netherlands have this one. Uh, for the second match, I think Argentina easily beats Denmark. Third match, I think England easily beats Qatar or Qatar. I don't really know. Uh, which way is the correct way to say it, but I hear people say both ways. Um, I think France, I'm not going to say easily, but I do think they beat Poland. Um, I think Spain beats Belgium, and I think Brazil beats Ghana. Uh, I think Croatia beats Germany and Portugal. Actually, yeah, I think Croatia does fi figure out a way to pull it out against Germany. Unless Luka Modric... Well, okay, so if they lose, Luka Modric won't be the reason for them losing, but it will be, but if they win, Luka Modric will be the reason why they win. Um, if they lose, I think uh, it'll just be, be because they just don't have, not that they don't have the talent to compete with Germany, but they don't have as much talent to compete with Germany. Um, now, saying that, Germany could easily win, but I think Croatia. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with Croatia, uh, and I think Portugal do beat Serbia. Now for the quarterfinals, I think Argentina um, beat the Netherlands. I think even with Van Dijk, even though he's been kind of regressing this season and last season, he's still Virgil Van Dijk, um, and obviously De Ligt is really good too uh, and then you, of course you have Denzel Dumfries um, and I don't exactly remember who plays on the left for them but their defense is solid but but in saying that I don't think they could um, they can handle Argentina's attack um, and Argentina's midfield it's not the best in the tournament but it's definitely solid uh, and even their defense uh, is not bad either so I think Argentina beat the Netherlands. I think Brazil beat Spain. I think Brazil will just be too much for Spain. Um, Brazil just have a really good, really good squad this year. And then I think France beats England. Um, this game, I feel like, will be very close, though. And I think Portugal beats Croatia. For the semifinals, I think Argentina beats Brazil. I, I, again, I just think Argentina's attack, I mean, especially Messi, of course, um, will just be too much for any defense in the tournament. And I want to say that they come up against Portugal. Um, Portugal did beat France in Euro 20, or not Euro 20, uh, Euro 2016. So it could happen again. Um, and I will say that it happens again, and we get an Argentina versus Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo versus Leo Messi final uh, for Ronaldo's final World Cup, and possibly Messi's final World Cup if 
he wins it. And if this were to happen, um, if the predictions go as I have them, I do think Argentina wins. Uh, for third place, I think Brazil wins. And, yeah, so there are my predictions. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments below who you are rooting for and also who you think will win. Let me know who you or who you think will win Golden Boot. Um, and Golden Boy, I think, I think Messi will win Golden Boot. Um, and... I think it's called the Golden Boy. I don't know what best young or just best young player at the World Cup. Um, I think it could be Leal. I think that is uh, very possible. I also, because I think this will be his first World Cup. Um, not sure of who else it could be because I think if I'm correct, no, Pedri didn't. Play. It could be Pedri. Pedri could win it. Jamal Musiala could win it. Um, but yes, I think. Messi will win Golden Boot, but like I said, let me let me know down below in the comments who you think will win uh, Golden Boot, Golden Boy Award, or Best Young Player, and let me know who you think will win the World Cup, and again, who you're rooting for.